Mail call. Mail call from David Gibson. Stay tuned to see what is in the box. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Live or Diecast. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in to today's episode. Today, I have a mail call from David Gibson, and I have um, labeled David Gibson as the funny car guy. Um, if you all have watched King Nuts um, Gauntlet Races, you all know that Big Daddy Diecast, also known as David Gibson, is the current champion over at King Nuts Diecast Racing at the Gauntlet. I believe he's sitting at number one and number two with uh, that Dirty Murray guy from Liver Diecast somewhere in Missouri. I think he's sitting at fourth or something, but he's still on the gauntlet and he's not going anywhere, folks. The Dodge concept is fast. The Baby Ruth car is slick. And uh, I really want to see that car finish out on, on the gauntlet, even if it's in last place at Gatekeeper. Um, I think that would be awesome because there has been some fast cars and my little Dodge concept has held its own with, with some pretty fast cars. So um, if you all have not checked out King Nuts Gauntlet Races, please, after this video, go to King Nut Diecast, check out his videos, check out his um, races. Cool guy, awesome dude out in Arizona. I wish I was out there right now because it is not warm here in Missouri. It is cooling off and it's cooled off fast. Let's get into this mail call. So I know uh, David Gibson has sent some challengers for the King of the 573 Ladder Wars. Um, he told me he sent a couple cars and he also said he included a couple of customs. So let's check these out and see what's in the box. I have cut the box open. I have not looked in it. I did cut it open to kind of save some time. And let's see what's in here. So it looks like first up, we have a letter. It says, hello, Brandon. Hope all is well out your way. Here's a small package for you. There is four, cu there is four customs I did for you and two cars to race on your track. Maybe give old Eddie a run for his money, laugh out loud. Stay safe, my friend, and keep up the great videos. Thanks for all you do for the Hot Wheels community. Don't thank me, man. I don't do much. I'm just participating. I love being in this group, this community, this family, um, this open circle. Um, and I want to thank you, man. Thanks for the kind words and uh, thanks for sending these cars. I knew you were sending a couple. I didn't know you were sending... There's four customs. Wow, let's check these out. I will keep this letter forever and I will put it with my others. So, hopefully, okay, yes, he did label them. Racer number one, Big Daddy Diecast, is the Monte Carlo concept car sitting on the chrome saw blades, front and rear, metal base. This thing is heavy. The Monte Carlo concept car. Red enamel, claws shredding through the side of it, chrome saw blades, front and rear, collector number 109, released in 2000. That is David Gibson's first racer for the King of the 573 Ladder Wars Challenge. And it's heavy. It's got some weight to it. Racer number two for Big Daddy Diecast. Number one of four cars. It is the Lumina Stalker sitting on the Chrome Ultra Hots front and rear. Number one on the side. Hot Wheels livery. Metal base. It's got some weight to it as well. Collector number 275. Released in 1995. This thing is slick. The clear glass, roll bars, white interior, sitting on the ultra hots. Let's see if they're hot. Um, the king of the 573, my goal was to try to get that up and going um, for this past Sunday. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. I haven't had time to get out to my grandpa's. Been busy just with life and holidays and Christmas. And I know you all have seen uh, all the cars I've been going through trying to get rid of for my cousin's 
wife's son who inherited them, has no interest in them, wants me to get rid of them, just wants his part of the money to go do whatever teenagers do with money. I don't even know what that is anymore. Hopefully it's something better than what I did when I was a teenager with my money. But anyways, hey, it's his money, he can do what he wants, right? So, David Gibson, there's your two challengers, buddy. I got a good feeling about this one. I don't know, man, this one's heavy too, but there's something about this race, this race car livery sitting on those ultra hots. I think this thing is gonna be ultra hot. So there's his two challengers he was talking about. Now, next up, he said he did some customs. Oh, sweet. Big Daddy Diecast, even autographed it, is on the short card from the Muscle Mania 2021 series, the 87 Buick Regal GNX. My first car was an 81 Olds Cutlass G-Body. It was a light blue color sitting on them crumb, or no, sorry, the gray MC5s front and rear. Nice paint job. Uh, my goal is when I get the new place, the, the new forever place, in my Hot Wheels room, I wanna do a display with all of my customs from, from all my diecast buddies, all my diecast homies. Hugh, it's Old Man Diecast, Eddie at Over Simple Customs, um, uh, King Nut, Mustang Hunter, uh, man, David Gibson, um, CDJ555, Ken Wynn, I, I know I'm missing some. I'm sorry, I can't remember them all. But if I seen it, had it in my hand, I could definitely remember who it was from and when I got it. Horrible with, with other stuff. I can't even remember what I did yesterday, but when somebody sends me a custom, I, as soon as I see it, I know where it came from, when I got it, what it is, and these are no different. But I wanna get my custom case set up so I can open all these. I don't know, man. I, I'll probably keep some of them carded just because I like the autographs that they include, Big Daddy Diecast right there, you see it, autograph from him. That is awesome. Absolutely love this one. It's not a Cutlass, but it is a G-Body and I have a soft spot for those G-Bodies. Yeah, I also wanna do a, I'm gonna do an all Ferrari display case when I get into the new place to check this out. Again, it's autographed, it is the 70 Chevy Camaro. Got the autograph up there. Looks like it's a green, goes to blue, color changer. However, the light hit, oh wow, look at the metallic in that. Sitting on the black MC5s, got the chrome lip, got the details done, the headlights are done, the front grille is done, tail lights, this thing is sweet. David, thank you very much. You know, I am a treasure hunt collector love my super treasure hunts love my chase cars but i'm gonna tell you something when someone takes the time to build you a custom one-off car sign it and send it to you it's right there in the heart i got a soft spot for that kind of stuff um it just, you know, for someone to take the time out of their busy life, I know we're all busy, we've, we've all got stuff going on. It's the holiday season. Um, so for David and, and all my other buddies to take the time out of their day to put something together for old dirty Murray over here in Missouri, it just warms my heart, man, it really does. Um, I, I, can't, I can't thank you enough, David, I really can't. And all my other buddies, I wanna thank you too. It's the holiday season, the holiday season. Okay, this is cool, man. You sent me a picture of this and I was like, that thing is so sweet. Again, autograph, Big Daddy Diecast, David Gibson. The 52 Chevy pickup, hot rod black, black MC5s, no. Nope, those are the uh, uh, the steelies, I guess you'd call them gold, gold trim steelies front and rear. You can see it's got some of the original paint that came out from the factory, but then he has put the hot rod effect on it. And man, does it look nice. 
Very, very nicely done. I like that. That would look good in a display. Got the tail lights done. Very cool. One of my buddies back in high school had a 49 Chevy that was all this color. Had a, a Camaro front stub on it with all the brakes and suspension and stuff. And that thing was a tire burner. There was no weight in the rear. I mean, it just smoked the tires. Had a 400 small block in it. That thing is sick. David, thank you very much, man. Again, I don't know if I'll open these or keep them carded because they're all autographed. All right, so I said it. I call him the funny car guy, the funny car man, the funny man. Here it is, Big Daddy Diecast. The Custom Splatter Paint Series, number two of four cars, collector 409. Check that out. Color change your paint goes green to blue, purple, chrome five spokes, front and rear. This thing is sweet, David. I knew you were sending me a couple of customs. I didn't know you were gonna send me four of them, man. Um, you've got, I've got another package ready for you uh, from all those Hot Wheels. And when I send it out to you, I will, I can't my, I wanna send you some more stuff to kind of make up for this. I know I don't have to, but I want to. It's the holiday season. I want to show my appreciation. My customization station is down right now. I just don't have the room. Um, and I'm, I can't, you know, I really, I don't have a garage where I'm at now. And it's tight quarters outside. I mean, we're right on top of one another. So I'm going to wait till I get into the house uh, to start doing my customs and painting and all that stuff again. So it's tearing me up because not, you know, I used to, and get stressed out or whatever something rough in the day i'd go down to my customization station and just fiddle around for 30 45 minutes to an hour and and regroup and i can't do that and it's it's killing me but i will get to it i promise so there it is you all have seen it four custom from big daddy diecast david gibson i want to thank you so much check these out we got the Buick, the Camaro, the Chevy, the funny car. And he is famous. He's holding the number one, number two spot over at King Nut Diecast that we're at the Gauntlet Racing. Be sure and go over there, check out King Nut, check out Big Daddy's funny cars that are in the one and two spots. I don't even have a favorite, man. I love them all. I love each and every one of them the same. David, thank you so much. Leave a comment below. Let me think what you all, let me know what you all think about these customs. David Gibson, Gibson put in some hard work, time, effort, money sending these to me. Much appreciated. We're going to go out on the 70 Camaro. This thing is sick. I love the color, the metallic cameras does it no justice whatsoever. But this thing is beautiful. My cousin had a 70 and a half it was the split bumper z28 camaro black with the white stripes had the 454 big block in it and that thing was it was nasty off the line nasty it was a tire burner too david thank you very much i will add your competitors to the list i believe uh mustang hunter i got a few in front of you mustang hunter king nut um, there's a few more, Kent, uh, maybe Wayne Parker was one of them. I've got the box, it's at my grandpa's too. I need to go pick it up, but you will see these on the track. King of the 573 Ladder Wars. I wanna thank you, 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 and you way back there, and you over there, all of you. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching this episode, interacting with my channel, commenting, sending cars to compete at the 573. Appreciate it, appreciate it. You all know Eddie over at Simple Customs, the Godfather, uh, is the track champion, um, has been for a while. So maybe these these guys here will give him some some stiff competition. Again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, this has been Live or Diecast, and I'm out. <laughs>